Okay, so this tip is actually nasty and you guys ignored it the first time around. So I'm gonna try round two and hopefully this time I've come dressed to impress. Let's get into it. What is up guys, Dan from the Zam Madden YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create your own red zone corner concept out of nearly any formation that allows you to motion the running back. Now, not all formations are created equal, but being able to create your own red zone corner concept with your running back can be extremely valuable against the 245 odd or the 335 wide metas. The reason for this is that traditionally you want to get your running back out on routes against the 335 wide while blocking the tight end. So the running back needs to be something that can beat the coverage that is being put out on the field. And in general, the red zone corner route is very, very hard to deal with, but it is predictable because it's only found in a few formations. In particular, some of your doubles and tight type formations will allow you to run these routes. Just want to say thank you so much for helping me reach 12,000 subscribers here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. It is the spring of 2022 and we're still pushing upwards with the channel. Things are really growing, not only here on the YouTube channel, but also on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Zan Madden, where I also stream Monday through Friday in the afternoons. And obviously on the Gridiron Game Plans website and in our Discord, where there's a ton of awesome community conversation if you guys could do me a quick favor make sure you guys if you're not already hit that subscribe button as we push for 13,000 subscribers and we'll see you guys here on the other side of this now in my favorite offense the single back bunch x nasty i've been putting in a lot of work as of late trying to get more creative with my route combinations and my motions let's talk about what being able to create your red zone corner concept truly is. And really what that is, is it's using a hot route master on the X nasty offense, or really any offense where you can motion your running back out into the slot. I like the X nasty better because it's a short motion, which allows me to do this very, very quickly. So I can dress it up very, very nice with this concept. I'm gonna choose for instance, the nickel two, four, five odd pinch two meta. This is a very, very popular meta that a lot of players like to run and when I face this, something that I can actually do is creating the red zone corner combo. So I'll come out in my X nasty offense with my bunch to the short side of the field. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the running back on a route so I can motion him before I put him onto a crosser. Now, traditionally the crosser is just gonna run from this tight end position or this wing position, but I'm gonna flip the formation so that way everybody goes back to their original spot, but the players that need to flip to the side. So what that does is it puts my running back back in the backfield. And you can notice here that it's kind of like a little zigzag out of the backfield. It looks like it would kind of be like a circle or a Texas route, but then it just goes straight into the corner. Now this is extremely valuable because what you can do against this heavy pinch two blitz meta, especially with these players that like to kind of stand out here and try to guarantee their pressure, is you can really, really make them struggle with something as simple as sending a vertical, sending a flat and blocking the tight end. A lot of players love to hang out on the left side because they like to swoop down at the line with their user and try to guarantee their pressure. So with the user being hanging out over here to try to shoot those runs and try to guarantee the pressure, this is a perfect route combo to be able to throw away from them when you are running this. So I'm gonna hang out on the safety. I'm gonna actually focus on the bunch side of this formation. And what you'll see is that you're kind of able to go out and read this as kind of a, a high-low combo. And you see right here, you can create kind of a baby smash with the running back and a flat on that side. So traditionally, you're gonna be able to just pepper that to the outside very, very easily and uh, force them into more of a hard flat style coverage. Thank you for checking out this free content over here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. If you guys are enjoying this content, make sure that you guys also check out my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg. Gridiron Game Plans is your one-stop source for all things competitive Madden. Every week in our Vault Update, we go over the meta, or the most effective tactics available, being used by pro players on the MCS circuit, breaking down not only how and why the pros do what they do, but most importantly, how you can counteract those metas when you face them in online gameplay. On top of that, your subscription also includes any and every game plan on the site all year long for just a low price of $9.95 a month. And you guys get access to our Discord channel where we have members of the Gridiron Game Plans community chatting daily, helping each other get better at the game. And this also includes a lab session every single Wednesday night on the channel. So make sure you guys get over the website. If you guys are looking for the best escape artist defense in the community, you have to look no further. GridironGameplans.gg. Now back to the video. So let's say that I did this again. You've thrown that little check down for six, seven, eight yards. Maybe they start to shade their coverage down into a hard flat with this combo. 
What this is gonna allow you to do again is be able to get this running back wide open to the corner. So again, here as we run this, maybe they're playing a hard flat this time after you've thrown a ball quick out to the flat once or twice. Uh, we go and run this and you're gonna see here that the running back is gonna get out and over the top of that zone, allowing you to throw that for a nice big gain. Now this is good against a cover two blitz, but it's also gonna be good against your vanilla coverages as well. So let's say that our opponent was in a cover four. A lot of players like to run cover four, base align and press. And uh, one thing that you're gonna be able to do with this is be able to work this crosser back to the sideline underneath of the hard flat. So again, with this particular combo, it just depends on what your opponent is doing. Um, honestly, you could probably motion across. If you know that your opponent is not gonna be blitzing, you could run something as simple as this right here and be able to throw this out into this sideline void very, very easily underneath of that cover four. So if they're playing more of like a cover four or cover three hard flat, that's an easy throw that you're gonna be able to make. It has to be usered. Now that's the kind of the shorter red zone corner combo. What I'm gonna show you now is actually something that you can do anytime without a motion flip. Um, so we would put him on a crosser and then motion him back into the backfield. Notice how this route is significantly deeper downfield. Uh, this is one that's gonna allow you not necessarily to get that red zone corner feel, but more or less, it's going to allow you to get down the field further and clear some of those zones. So in this situation, you're not necessarily gonna have to worry about your opponent shading hard flat or not, because this is actually going to be uh, something that you can run uh, and get over the top of a cloud flat even. So let's say that we go back to our original setup, something uh, where the right bumper is running a streak, B is in the flat and the tight end's blocking. With this particular setup, you're gonna be able to throw this ball out underneath of a vertical hook for more positive yardage. Now, disregard the fact that we dropped the ball right there. You could clearly tell that that was open. So um, if you're facing one of those opponents that likes to shade their, their soft squats into uh, cloud flats rather, you're gonna be able to do this pretty easily. So again, with that particular motion, keep in mind that when we flip, it makes the shorter red zone corner. When we motion him out to this spot and put him on a crosser, this is something that we can then motion back into the backfield and we're gonna be able very, very easily to abuse this coverage. So you just kind of wait for him to get out. Even if he gets held up, that's great because we can still throw it underneath for a nice big gain. A lot of players are used to Texas routes, ins and outs. They're not gonna really be used to these types of routes out of the backfield, these slot apprentice type routes. Also keep in mind that if your opponent decides to try to do the cross man trick, a lot of players love to cross man running back wheels. Let me show you an example. So let's say for instance that I wanted to throw a running back wheel to the wide side. And our opponent, for instance, was in a cover four hard flat. They know that this is a coverage that is a little bit susceptible to a wheel route. So a lot of players will just man up somebody on the weak side, knowing that the wheel is going to run out to the wide side. And then they're going to uh, basically drop into that lane where a lot of uh, players would throw that running back wheel. So in something like this, you might notice that this little low ball wheel route can sometimes be dropped, intercepted. It's a click on pick when people play cross man. So a lot of players will make that adjustment against you when you spam a lot of running back wheels, whether that be from shotgun or under center. So when you pick up on this concept, you can actually take advantage of the fact that they have that player manned up. And what do I mean by that? You're gonna motion your player out into their slot position, depending on what you're in, whether it's X nasty, single back doubles, whatever you wanna call, and you're gonna put them on a stop and go. And then you're gonna motion him back into the backfield. And what you're gonna notice with this particular combo is that you're actually gonna be able to fairly easily shake man-to-man -man coverage on the up, out, and then up pattern. And you see how easily I could throw that ball down the field for a huge chunk of yardage. So a lot of players are not gonna be ready for that combo either. Uh, so this is something that is pretty exclusive to more of your uh, slot apprentice type routes. I think the X Nasty is one of the best formations to do this because of the short motions. But I wanna take that a little bit deeper for you guys and show you guys something else. Now, keep in mind that this part is much more setup intensive. If you're going to do this part of the tip, come out of the huddle right away. You're gonna take nearly all your play clock to do this, but it can be extremely, extremely valuable. Again, I did break this down in the past, but the channel was smaller. The traction wasn't quite there with the channel at this point. So I wanted to come back and do this tip for you guys, especially at this point in the year where we've kind of learned how to block a lot of blitzes and you're just kind of looking for unique ways to play the game. So let's say for instance, that we're facing a, a cover two. 
I'll just call it traditional Tampa 2. And I wanted to get my running back on some really crazy routes. Uh, let's say, for instance, a skinny post. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose a formation that allows you to motion your wide receiver or your running back out to a wide receiver spot where they are what is considered an outside receiver, a flanker, or a split end. And this is going to bring up the outside apprentice hot route tree. One of my favorite things to do is to put my running back on a post and then motion him back into the backfield. Now with the post route, it will traditionally go to the right. So you see that it flip flops back to the other side. Now, with this particular combo, you're actually gonna be able to work the running back into the corner over the top of a cloud flat really, really easily. So in this situation, let's go ahead and uh, just run kind of a vertical, uh, maybe we'll run like a, a dagger concept from the back side. Uh, if I wanted to, I could actually go double seams and that would help pull the deep half safety inside. And with this, you're gonna let the running back get out on his route and go to the corner. And you're gonna see here that I could actually throw this all the way over the top of a cloud flat for a one play score. So if you guys are pretty good at picking up those cover two blitzes, this could actually be a money, money combo for you. Again, you're gonna have to be really, really quick with your adjustments. Sometimes you're not gonna be able to do this, motion out, motion him back, motion a guy across. Sometimes that's not gonna be something that you can do at all. Um, maybe you do this off of uh, a no huddle, uh, for instance, just kind of depends on how much time you're dealing with, you know, how quickly maybe you have conductor. I don't know. There's going to be a lot of different ways that you can utilize this, uh, but preferably you want to be able to motion him into the backfield. At this point, this is probably all you have enough time to do. Uh, so what I would do is maybe go with like a drag and a, a streak. You know, you could still run a, a dagger concept. You can do all these hot routes while he's motioning into the backfield. Uh, and again, you know, try to slide protect to your rollout. If you are going to design a rollout with this, you see right here, I'm going to get out and I'm gonna throw this corner route wide open over the top for the one play score. So uh, pretty easy to do there against that coverage. Now that's not all, you could do a lot more with this. If I wanted to, I can motion Fournette out wide. One of my favorite routes, especially in the middle of the field is a fade stop. Uh, I actually motion in fade stops from single back bunch into a compressed alignment. So one thing that you could actually do is put a fade stop on the field, motion him into the backfield and then smart route it. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring that all the way down. Uh, you wanna make sure that you let him set before you do this trick. But the reason that this could be so valuable is that if you were to have, you know, like a crosser combo, for instance here, one thing that you might be able to do is, um, you know, especially if they're the type of player that likes to put their uh, cover two middle linebacker in a deep third, this is gonna sit up perfectly, especially while they're using the crosser. So um, a lot of times they look for a crossing route and uh, I'll just go ahead and simulate that by manning up. We'll pretend Parsons is the user. Uh, you man up the crossing route. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to roll out, look for your crosser. I'm actually going to get sacked here. Uh, guy instantly shed. It's going to allow you to roll out, look for your crosser, and then throw your... Uh, your route back over the field. So again, let's go ahead and uh, I'll main up this guy right here. It just depends on which player they're putting in this assignment. Um, so kind of look for the user. Uh, and again, here with this, we're gonna put him on a fade stop. And I'm going to, you can flip the play if you wanted to, it's up to you. Um, you see right here, the fade stop is now gonna work to the left side of the field. Uh, just again, depends how they're, how they're running this. If you, you know, can pick up on which side of the field they'd like to use, or you might flip or not flip, just depends. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do something more like uh, this here. So like kind of a runoff combo. And I'm gonna slide protect. And we're gonna try to use that as a baby check down. You know, like you see right here, that middle third, you see how the mid read zone and, and all that, they all, they all matched right there. That's gonna allow you to kind of throw that deep over the middle in that situation. But we're not done. Let's say, for instance, you wanted to put your running back on a C route. I think the C route is a criminally underused route. You guys ought to take a look at the vault that I just did on Gridiron. You could use this C route, motion back or flip your formation back into the backfield. And look at this route. It is such a crazy post route. It's a giant circle route that you guys can use uh, pretty easily against, uh, you know, a cover two defense. So let's say that I set up something like, you know, uh, maybe like a little out combo, maybe like an Ohio concept with a C route, a little divide type of action. Uh, you see right here, I could use this C route 
And you see right there that he, you know, he's got an opportunity to break over the middle depending on where the user goes. Again, just kind of depends on what the user's doing. You know, if they're the type of player that, you know, maybe they mix in a fair amount of cover three, maybe you could go ahead and run the C route and, and throw that as it cuts out of the backfield. Um, you know, this is just a way to create your own C route. So maybe I do something like, kind of like a crazy trail combo, if you think about it. If we were to do something like this, you know, you have a deep crosser and then a, a trail a trail crosser in behind it to the running back. So you see right here, I could go ahead and maybe lowball this out of the backfield, or I could let you know him then break into the post if I feel comfortable in the pocket. There's a lot you can do with these apprentice style routes out of you know single back style formations. So not just a red zone corner, but seriously, really how to get your running back involved uh, running unique routes, you know, individually manned up doesn't matter. Uh, clearing zone drops doesn't matter. You've got ways to use your running back on more than just Texas routes, wheels, ins and outs. And I hope that this helps you guys out with your offense. If you did, make sure you guys drop a like. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, drop those below. We'll see you guys tomorrow with our next video upload. Until then, this is Zane. Get in the lab and good luck.